Hey guys, I'm back again. So the only thing left, I think, for this um, setup is to add Molter because remember we want to add files. Okay, we want to be able to upload files, and that's why we have the end type here, for example. And you can see we have a, an input type file for the avatar of the user. So we will need to go to libraries, libs, okay, just check that, okay, and we have Multer already installed, it's, it was inside the package suggestion that I gave to you. So in order to make the setup of that, let's say cover.js, and we're going to type this constant path equals require but constant molter equals require molter. Okay, we get that. So we need a path, a module, and molter. We're going to define new a new storage. Say let storage equals to molter. That disk storage. We got some intelligence there. That's nice. And you can see what you need to uh, what string of or function may be specified to determine the, the destination directory okay so we need to say destination and this is a function as they said request the file and a callback and the callback is going to be null the error and the destination where we want to save these covers and like that okay then this is comma yeah and the file name how we're going to um, deal with the file name which is still as well a function request on file and a callback so you can add also um, filters and all that stuff inside this but right now we're not going to do so um, we can also add them inside each um, a specific uh, route so we can check the type of the file there so let's say null so just this is just a simple setup so we can start adding the files inside um so let's say molter npm so you can see where you can find more about this molter npm okay <coughs> sorry so you can see how uh, you can use the middleware okay and how you can define your form with the input file and all that okay so yeah it's pretty straightforward also but in this case <coughs> sorry and we're going to um, handle the errors that's why we're going to set it set it up like this so um field name so the field name is let's go to register it's going to be avatar okay so that is how we're going to define the name plus a dash we're going to give it a unique um Kinda um, a unique naming that now. So this is data now to get the specific date with seconds. So that is going to be a um, unique path Ex extension name. I was going to say external no extension and file that original name. So we will get field name avatar dash whatever date 
they upload they upload that i can't freaking speak sorry guys ah uh, i'm uh, well sorry <laughs> and um the extension from the file so that is essentially the name let me just i think i can show you that uh, my pro projects no this is not it this is work this this and let me just go to covers okay so oh sorry sorry so this one is for covers so this is the naming that we're going to get cover the uh, date and the extension okay so that's essentially what we are doing there so since this one is for covers that's why it's going to it's going to say cover because the field name is going to be a called cover okay so we are going to add the users after this one so it's going to be the, the same but it's going to use uh, this avatar naming okay and then sorry if i'm not explaining uh, too much right now i'm just too dense um to keep my thinking uh, straight so sorry guys i also have a ton of videos about molter in the channel so you can just check um how we say it up there it's just the same in case you miss something or in case i say something there that i can just remember right now i'm not a robot so um i'm doing what i can with the time i have so inside this storage we're going to just load what we just typed but it's going to uh, it's going to be where we're going to place it and the naming of that there is no filters nothing else there that's single and we're going to say cover okay so what was this doing and uh, also what the process is uh mm -hmm. okay sorry so see uh, you can see this single cover so this one needs to be the name of the cover okay so this cover is what is going to be replaced for example inside this okay but this cover needs to match for example what we will have this you will see in a second because i'm going to build the users um, after this so um you will see what i mean with the same naming model that sports equals covers upload okay so what we are going to export this configuration for molter for this specific a uh, input name okay so we're going to go and create a new users a js i have it with okay so let me just change the naming of this because it's plural is covers and let me go to users that's not it it's this one and let me just copy this and paste it because it's the same we use the pad and multer i'm using the pad external name to get the um that's the only place i think we're using the pad yeah uh, although we could use file uh, i think we can have the extension with this okay but anyways um you can see this one is going to be placed inside users avatars okay we can also define a folder i didn't save this define a folder and use the same folder for user avatars and covers okay but right now let's go to index.js what i'm doing is just defining two different um, files um, directories sorry uh, just to keep them you know um, easier for you to see okay we're on users and this single avatar is what we have here so this needs to be the same name let me just delete that or not delete but and um, close it and also this so this needs to be the same name of the input file 
for Molter to understand which um, folder it requires. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, okay. So, um, it's not a different work, so don't worry about that. I still have time. And I think that's all. As I said, sorry if I didn't explain this too well. Um, I'm just not. Um, my head is not working. That's why I didn't expect or I wasn't thinking about recording, but well, I'm doing what I can right now. I'm 50 50, 50 awake, 50, um, you know, sleeping, um, even though it's almost 4 um, p.m. You know, usually that stuff happens when you are working and stuff. So I have a ton of stuff to worry about right now and it's kind of stressful also. So just bear with me, guys. At any case, if you have any doubt, just uh, add it inside a comment and as soon as I can I will uh, reply to that okay so I will try to keep an eye into the channel so um, I explain things to um, any people that didn't understand um, what I was trying to say or what I was doing so we have the molter for both the storage and you can see we are uh, defining a constant users upload and we are um, exporting that so we can use it uh, wherever we're going to use it okay so i think that's also uh, i think i made it sound uh, more complex than it should be or that what it is but we already have the configuration for um, the covers so we can upload covers to each post and the user avatar so we can upload the user um, picture to display in the dashboard or uh, wherever we want <clears throat> you will see also how to store that later inside or um, we could also add it inside our uh, response at locals or if we are using express sessions we can create a new um, property inside a section not section sessions express sessions okay so we can create a new uh, property inside that session with a specific avatar okay so we can load it for example uh, here in the navbar okay so picture that this is um, stylized and we have the picture here okay so we can add that using express sessions and also using the locals okay so just a little tip uh, in case you are wondering how to do that of course i'm going to show you how to use locals in the um, next videos so i think that's all for this one guys and again sorry if i didn't explain this too well I will try to record later, um, maybe tonight or um, I don't think weekend, but Monday could be. So we're going to start working now. The only thing, this was the only thing left and we're going to start working with the um, posts. Okay, so we're going to add, so let me just add this one. So let me just minimize this. I think we can start with the create adding uh, the view so what will be the process the process will be we add a new route and we do all the stuff that the route uh, needs okay so we create the uh, view we create the route the function inside the controller we will then come to routes okay add the specific route with the controller function and um, test it okay so that's essentially um, a video should be all that process so you can only reference one video at a time and see which part um, you got stuck and come back later and just uh, look at that specific process okay so uh, you don't miss anything there so thank you guys and see you in the next one